Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to cook an octopus. So this recipe contains three parts. We're first going to slice and cook it, then marinate it, and then grill it. So uh, this hole is where the beak used to be. If you look here, they already removed it at the store. But uh, before it used to be a beak, just like a bird's beak, where the octopus feeds. I mean, look how huge it is. So the octopus is one of the smartest predators in the sea. But uh, today we're going to prey on it ourselves. Now I'm going to show you how to prepare it. So normally you would remove the part where the ink used to be, and also the beak. But uh, since it's done at the store, we just have to remove the head part. So uh, we take our octopus and uh, cut just below the eyes. Like so. So now we're going to cook the octopus. I've set some water to boil and I'm going to prepare some aromatics, which is uh, lemon, some bay leaves and garlic. To prepare our aromatics, we need to peel the garlic. Just going to smash it and remove the skin, like this. Then we need to slice our lemon in half. So the water is now boiling, and we're going to add our aromatics. Chopping our lemon. And we're adding salt. Now we're going to add our octopus. First going to lower it. And we're going to reduce the heat down to a simmer. and leave it cooking for a couple of hours. While the octopus is cooking, we're going to prepare our marinade. It's going to have coriander, lemon, salt and pepper, garlic and olive oil. We're going to chop up our coriander. We're going to squeeze our lemons. You can also uh, chop them up and uh, leave them inside the marinade. We did the same thing as before with the garlic, where we just smashed them and uh, peeled them. And uh, we're just going to add them to the Ziploc bag. We're going to season it with salt and pepper. After an hour and 40 minutes, I'm checking if the octopus is done. And I'm just lifting it like this. Look at that nice color. So the way you can tell if it's done is if it slices through easily. And uh, 
I can tell it's uh, sliced through easily and falls apart. So, uh, it's done. You can also cut any slice for yourself. Okay. Mm. That's great. Brian, it's really tasty. Mm. So what we're going to do next is uh, separate all the tentacles. Like this. And we're going to place them in the Ziploc bag. And now you just cover everything with olive oil. Now we just close the ziplock bag. And place it in the fridge overnight. Hi guys, it's day two. And uh, the octopus has been marinating in the fridge for over 12 hours. So now I'm going to show you how to grill it. We're going to start off with making a simple sauce for the octopus, which is called gremulata. Today we're making our own version. We're using parsley, coriander, lemon, garlic, olive oil and salt. And we're going to mix it. We're going to roughly chop up our parsley, garlic and coriander, just to make it easier for the mixer. And we're going to peel the lemons and squeeze the juice out. Then we're going to mix everything. Now we're going to squeeze our lemon juice. You can do this by hand, but I prefer using this machine, so I have it at home. So. Now we're just going to add everything to the mixer and uh, mix it.
Remolotto now looks like this. Mm. Really flavorful. The zest is pretty nice there. Just to show you what it looks like. So like this. Mm. Should be balanced in flavor, not too salty. Smooth and um, nice and acidic. Well, the octopus is out of the marinade and uh, the pan is nice and hot, so we're ready to grill. get that surface. As soon as you see color, you can flip it. Just adding salt. And now we're ready to serve. We have our uh, grimulata, which we're going to spoon on the plate. Like to pick on some uh, for